What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and the new app from Sony PlayStation that has rolled out to Android phones and it brings with it a bunch of new features and integrates even more. So let's talk about what it comes with. As you can see from their headline, introducing the new PlayStation app redesigned to enhance your gaming experiences on PS4 and PS5. And they've listed out the key new updated features in here. First one is updated user interface. The first thing you'll notice is the sleek new user interface or the redesigned PlayStation app. The new home screen lets you quickly see what your friends are playing and access details about your recently played games, including your trophy list. Messages integration is uh, in here now for a unified experience. PlayStation Messages app feature will now be integrated into the PlayStation app. So you can seamlessly message your friends all in one place as part of this integration. PlayStation Messages will no longer be available as a standalone app. Your existing messages and threads in PlayStation Messages will be carried over to the updated PlayStation app. So that's good. That used to be a separate app from the PlayStation app and now everything's just gonna be in the PlayStation app. Voice chat and party groups. You can now create party groups from PlayStation app and voice chat with up to 15 other friends through your mobile phone. Also a note to fans, PlayStation team is looking into your feedback around the parties. Uh, changes introduced in the PS4 system update eight. There are no updates to share today, but thanks for speaking about your concerns. We're listening and evaluating. So now you're gonna be able to talk directly into your PlayStation app with your phone, with your friends and create groups and things like that. Natively integrate PlayStation Store and remote downloads. The new PlayStation Store experience enables fast and smooth shopping and browsing with the ability to remotely download games and add-ons directly to your PS4 and PS4. Five new features for PlayStation 5 on PS5 Horizon. You'll be able to remotely launch games, manage storage on your console if you run out of space while downloading a game, and quickly sign into PlayStation 5 from the PlayStation app. Also, all the latest PlayStation news will be inside of this app. So really, really nice update to this app. So check your updates and things to see if it's already out there. If it is, you're good to go. Otherwise, just wait for it to come to your... Uh, to your, uh, your, your app, your phone, and you'll be good to go that way as well. Next up is about the release dates for the Galaxy Z Flip 2, which should be really the third one, but they're gonna probably call it the two. Um, and then also the Galaxy S21 release date. We know that it's been rumored to be January, but it might come out earlier than that. Let's talk about this. So the first tweet comes from Ross Young, who says the Z Flip 2 will not be launched with the Galaxy S21 but it will be launched in the spring. And he's talking spring of 2021. And he said, I am impressed with the upgrades it will get. So you're looking at the Galaxy Z Flip 2 coming out in spring of 2021, so which ends up being pretty far away. You're looking at another six to eight months from now that it would be released. Not a big deal to me, I probably won't purchase it. It doesn't matter what they throw in it. Probably still wouldn't get it, but it, for the people that are interested in it, you're probably looking at another six to eight months before the new one is released. Now, what about the Galaxy S21? He has another one, because someone asked him, uh, S21 when? And he put Herring December for Galaxy S21, which I, I'm gonna say he's probably wrong in that. I would, I would think, I would hope, I don't hope he's wrong, but like I would hope Samsung wouldn't do that. It's pretty crazy. That would mean they released the S20, the Note 20, all in the same year. And the S21 all in the same year? That's ridiculous, it's really ridiculous. I would think it's still probably gonna be in that January, maybe even February. A friend of mine mentioned February. He mentioned 2121, which would be the same as Galaxy S21. That makes total sense to me. Um, yeah, I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I, I can't imagine they're gonna release it in December. If they do, it's wild. It's really wild. Let me know what you guys think. And the last story of the day has to do with the Galaxy S21 and the S Pen. We talked about yesterday, if you saw my news show where we talked about uh, the latest coming out about that is that it's going to look very similar, the S Pen itself, to the Galaxy Note 8 and probably same in functionality as well in this latest rumor goes in line with that. And this comes from DJ, not DJ Co, saying Galaxy S21 Ultra Pen, S Pen will lose some camera functionality as the S Pen may not support Bluetooth. And what he means by that is, if you've had the last couple of uh, Galaxy Note phones, there's a button on there, because there's Bluetooth, that acts as a shutter button for your camera when you're in there. And you can also do all the you know, crazy whatever things with it. You know, you're holding your phone out here, 
and you want to take a selfie, just press the button and it'll do that. That's a great feature, but he's saying that it probably won't have Bluetooth functionality. And it makes sense because if you think about it, the pen would need to be charged in order for that function and that ability of Bluetooth to be in the pen to work. And from all the renders we've seen, there's no S Pen input on the Galaxy S21. So you'd have to input it into a case or carry it in your pocket. So that makes sense. And I, and I would probably guarantee if we're gonna get the S Pen with the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you're not gonna get a Bluetooth uh, you know, functionality in there and you're not gonna get it inputted into the phone. It's gonna be in a case or something like that. Now they could still have Bluetooth in there and have it charge wirelessly on the back of the phone. They could do something like that but it doesn't sound like they're going to do that at least this year with the S Pen support on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. Question out to you guys is, do you need Bluetooth functionality on your S Pen for the Galaxy S21 Ultra? If you get it, let me know. Is that a, is that a, a, a downer for you? Is it something to make you not want to get the S Pen for that? Or are you kind of like, I don't really care. All I do is write on the screen. And as long as it does that, I'm fine. I'm probably the opposite. I, I don't write, when I do use it, I don't write on the screen all that often. And when I do use it, I generally do use it for its Bluetooth functionality, such as, as a camera shutter button. And even then I still don't use it that much. But when I do, that's pretty much what I use it for. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace.